Hey everybody, welcome back. So I'm so excited that I am now announced that I am an International Institute for Hypnotherapy Instruction according to the American Board of Hypnotherapy. And today I want to talk to you about what is hypnotherapy? What is hypnosis? And as I start bringing out hypnosis tracks, I want you to understand what it is that we're really working with. So first the show reel. Too much. <laughs> okay, so here's the deal. Say it with me. All hypnosis is self-hypnosis. What does that mean? What that basically means is as a hypnotherapist, I can't make you do anything, right? I'm sure many of you have seen the stage shows where people are walking around like clucking like a chicken and doing stupid things, forgetting numbers, losing their butts or whatever is happening on the show, right? If you notice, the people that go up there volunteer to go up there, right? They're usually extroverted. They usually like being the center of attention in some way, or they're open and they're willing to do the things that the hypnotherapist on stage is asking them to do. So when we do hypnotherapy together, when you go into hypnosis, especially self-hypnosis, all we're doing is we're getting the conscious mind out of the way so we can talk directly to that special part of yourself, to the unconscious or the subconscious mind. We like to call it unconscious because subconscious, sub means less than or lesser than. Some people say, oh, you shouldn't say unconscious because that's what people are when they're in a coma. But really what we're talking about is the quote unquote part of your brain that is running the whole show, that helps you choose whether you're gonna do something or not do something. And yes, you can consciously decide like, no, I'm going to work out every day and or three days a week and I'm going to work hard and I'm going to stop eating sugar and I'm going to do all these things. If your unconscious mind isn't on board, it takes so much effort, so much energy and so much time to do. Whereas if we can get your unconscious mind on board and understanding that it's safe and easy and good for your body, everything becomes easier. So when you go into hypnosis, even in my tracks that I'm doing for you, don't expect to feel hypnotized. In fact, we're in a trance state 90% of the time, like when we're driving or we're staring at television. So it's actually just a mellow, relaxed state. And so a light trance usually feels no different than that, right? Because it's a normal, natural state. So it'll feel familiar to you. And there are different stages of trance, of course. You can go into a deep, deep trance where you're feeling like as if you're sleeping, right? But not all trance is about being zonked out. It's a really normal, natural state, right? So hypnosis is a natural state where you experience increasing levels of relaxation, which is why it's good for helping with feelings of anxiousness or overwhelm or not good enough or unloved or I can't sleep or my mind won't stop working. And you are in control. So when I'm doing inductions, whether live, in other words, bringing you into a trance, whether I'm live or whether I'm on video, you are in charge. So if I tell you to stand up, you're going to stand up because you think that's okay. If I ask you to go stand on your head in the corner, you're probably not going to do that unless you like doing that. And then you're going to go do it. And if I tell you to rob a bank, well, unless you would do that, you're not going to go do it, right? So you're always in charge and you will only accept the suggestions that are given that are consistent with your core values and your core beliefs. So hypnotherapy and trance is about learning how to go into trance. So every process I bring you through is about learning that for yourself. So as I bring people in live or over video as an individual, I take them through tests so they can see like, oh yes, here I am. And here's, here's the level of depth that I'm in. Here's what it feels like to be in this level of trance. So they can replicate it for themselves, right? So they can go to self-hypnosis classes that I'm offering and actually learn how to do this themselves so they can give themselves their positive affirmations. So they can give themselves their um, desires of what they want to do in their life. And they can start creating that rapport with their unconscious mind. So things can become easier, more simple. Trance is 10,000 times more powerful than just talking to yourself with your conscious mind, right? Because if you're always consciously trying to force yourself to do something, as soon as you stop paying attention, you don't do it, right? As soon as you're not putting in the effort, the energy, the time. 
when we're speaking with the unconscious mind, with the, the unconscious mind excited to work out or desirous to eat apples instead of potato chips or to quit smoking or to be motivated to make those calls at work because the unconscious mind sees how that's keeping us safe and protected and bringing us abundance and money and whatever it is that we want. So I, I'm going to keep start, I'm going to, I'm going to keep, I'm going to start dropping hypnosis tracks for you for a variety of things, just little short ones. So you can get a little taste. And if you want more, I really invite you to check out my self hypnosis and higher hypnosis, higher self hypnosis classes coming up. Or if you're ready to get certified so you can work with it with your family, your friends, your patients, your clients, I can do that for you as well. So namaste. Have a great day.